Hello everybody! This video will cover order of operations. In math, there is a certain order in which you need to do the math in order to make sure that you get the correct answer. And this is the order of operations. Now there's a nice little acronym, PEMDAS. A lot of people say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, and there's something else with purple elephants. I don't know what it is. Make up your own if it's more helpful to you. But this uh, tells you the order in which you need to do math problems in order to make sure you get the correct answer. And you start up here from the top, and you work your way down. Now, that P stands for parentheses or grouping symbols. Now, when it comes to parentheses, these are your standard parentheses. Then around that you have you could have brackets, and around that you could have braces. The reason that we have different types is because when you get to problems that have more than one set of grouping symbols, we uh, you'll say that they're nested. And what that means is that inside you'll have parentheses, then outside you'll have brackets, and outside of that you may have braces. And when you do your order of operations, you need to start with the innermost set of parentheses. And you'll see that later on in the problem that I do. Next we have exponents. And this is also where roots come into play, which are really just exponents to fractions. And then we have multiplication and we have division. Now this is a group. Meaning you do this as it occurs, as it occurs, from left to right. Left to right. That's extremely important. So in other words, if division comes before multiplication, as you're going from the, through the problem from left to right, you do the division first. That is a group. Same thing here with addition and subtraction. This is also a group, and you do that as it occurs from left to right. Very important. So same thing as what's above, as it, as it occurs from left to right. Now, let's try some sample problems, shall we? Here I have three samples, varying in complexity, but I tried to pick some that I know students would typically get wrong. If you feel really comfortable with order of operations, go ahead and pause the video and try these. Okay, in fact, it's not a good, bad idea to try them and see if you can get it right just based off of that acronym. Okay, for this first problem, what you need to start with is this right here. You need to do that first because that's multiplication. So the first part, I'm going to just rewrite. We didn't use it, so I'm rewriting it. And then negative 6 times a positive 2 gives me a negative 12. Now we have nothing but addition and subtraction left over. So what a lot of students will do is they're going to go over here and do 3 plus negative 12 because they think, oh, addition comes before subtraction. But no, remember it's a group. You do it as it occurs from left to right. So in other words, this is what you would have to do first. 4 minus 3 is 1, and then we have plus a negative 12 left over. 1 plus a negative 12 is negative 11. Hopefully you got that. If you didn't try these other two, go ahead and pause it and try it. All right, for this second one, the reason this one is a little tricky is because you have stuff to do in your numerator and your denominator. If that's ever the case, when you have a fraction like this, you do everything you could do in the numerator and everything you could do in the denominator first and then try to reduce the fraction. So, for example, in the numerator, I have 5 plus 4. And I could do that. Now, I can also do this part in the denominator because these things are really separate. Numerator and denominator are separate. It's like different problems initially. So my numerator becomes 2 times 5 plus 4, which is 9, over 3 squared, which is 3 times 3, or 9. Then I would do the numerator. I still have 2 times 9, which is 18 over 9. 18 over 9 is 2. The next problem that I have shows nested parentheses. If you look at this, you have parenthesis, parenthesis. That is the innermost set. And that's where usually when we have multiple sets of, of bracketing or um, grouping symbols, we're going to put parentheses in the middle. So that's what you need to do first. So I'll rewrite this bracket. I'll put the 4 in, or the brace, I'm sorry. Put this bracket in. And then I have 5 minus 2 times, in here is 3 plus 2, which is 5. I'm doing that part first plus 1, and then I have the closed bracket and the closed brace divided by 4 squared. Again, I'm going to go to the inside. Now, what are my next set? 
It's these brackets right here. What do I have to do inside there? Well, inside of there, I have multiplication. I also have subtraction and addition. I'm hoping that you're realizing that after we did one step here, you restart your order of operations all over again. So in other words, you go up to the top and say, all right, are there parentheses still? If there are, then you start there. If not, you go to exponents. But every time you do one step, you restart that order of operations. So inside here, I have multiplication and I have subtraction and addition. Multiplication comes first. So I'm going to rewrite this. And then this is 5 minus 2 times 5. So this will become 5 minus 10 plus 1. And then on the end here, I've divided by 4 squared. Again, start all over, and I still have parentheses, and I'm going to do that all in one shot, okay? Just to make it a little bit quicker. 4, this will be times, 5 minus 10 is negative 5, you know, I'll just write it out, plus 1, divided by 4 squared. Notice that as I'm doing the problem, too, I'm working my way down the page. This is what I would expect your work to look like. All right, I'll restart my order of operations. And again, I still have those parentheses. i got to do that. So I have the brace 4 times negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. Close the brace divided by 4 squared. Now inside, now my new set of parentheses or grouping symbols are those. The other ones are just telling me that it's 4 times negative 4. It's separating that negative symbol. So 4 times negative 4, I got the brace is negative 16, divided by 4 squared. Oh, I'm running out of page here. This is negative 16, then I'm going to do the 4 squared part next, because it's an exponent. These parentheses don't mean anything other than, in fact, I could actually get rid of them here like this, because all they were doing was just going around the negative 16. 4 squared is 16, so I have negative 16 divided by 16, and my answer is negative 1. Okay, if you got that one right, give yourself a pat on the back. That's all, my friends. See you later.